Happy May 13th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Runwood. When last we played, Ivy and party made their way across some decaying rope bridges, ascending above the desert floor and climbing toward this floating island. We took a fall or two, but a few kind souls pointed out that I almost immediately forgot about the bonus we had for succeeding on our intelligence check at the very beginning of the climb, so Disco wouldn't have gotten hurt because we wouldn't have called on him, and we wouldn't have taken, uh, we wouldn't have taken two damage, we would have just taken one, so let's fix that now. So Disco, sorry buddy, I clearly can't be trusted. <laughs> Remember temporary bonuses and we go from 13 up to 14 14 of 17 so we're feeling okay um, Let's see and I think we would have gained an amber or two on the last roll on the page if I pull that up here uh, Down here we would have gotten I read this result for four, eight, between 8 and 14, but I think we would have gotten this. Your athletic prowess allows you to easily cross the bridge, uh, adapting to the sway and maintaining perfect balance. Reaching the other side, you find something shiny on the next aisle. Uh, roll d20 plus intellect. So we're still cursed, so we roll to uh, 1. <laughs> so... Uh, we find one amber. So, one is better than zero. So we'll take it. Uh, this goes to ten. Ten shiny amber. Alright, I think I've repaired everything. Um, now I, uh, I introduced this minigame when last we played. Cursed. Uh, I'm just trying to have some fun <laughs> with this curse. Uh, and so um, I think we'll do it again. We'll give uh, we'll give Ivy a chance every day until she either gets rid of it the way the calendar wants us to get rid of it, a rest or a cleansing crystal, um, or until we can do this. Now, this is a fun little game. You saw it in action last time. Uh, I've never gotten more than six bosses defeated um the game itself has a different conceit the story about what's going on but and you're supposed to beat eight bosses so because i've never gotten better than six i decided to give us a chance we have to beat seven i guess the idea here is that you know ivy's having this dream or um internally her subconscious is fighting this curse and uh it's manifesting like this when she's dreaming or having a vision or something, um, she sees these monsters that represent her fears or whatever's going on there. And she has to, she can only use the items and uh, weapons that she finds within herself to defeat this curse. So we need to defeat, oh, well, actually, we get an item to start a smoke bomb. Place all cards in the current encounter into the draw deck and shuffle. That's nice. Okay. So there's our smoke bomb. We're going to draw a boss. It's uh, like a frog shaman or something. Nothing's really special about him, so we'll draw our weapons. Two, we want to get as close as possible to eight as we can without going over. Five, and I'm going to play a little bit more risky. Ah, dang it. <laughs> so we went over. Um, so we just discard this one. That's like taking a point of damage. So to recap, this is basically our health um, pool as well. And when we run out of cards, the game is over. So five. I got to try another one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is what happens. when Every time I try to push my luck, it just backfires miserably. So five, three. Okay, one more time. Oh, good. Okay. All right, six, seven, eight. So we defeated that boss, so we collect him. I'm going to turn him like this. Place all cards in the current encounter into the draw deck. I have to remember to use that. All right, we're fighting this skeleton with a spear. Staff does four damage. 
Oh, daggers, dang it. So we don't want to take the six because that would go over. So we're at five, we'll draw one. Oh, jeez, <laughs> I went over again. So we lose, oh, you know what? We can use those things at any time, any point. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the smoke bomb. We're gonna place all the cards in the current encounter into the draw deck and shuffle. So I'm just gonna put these in here willy-nilly. We used our smoke bomb and we're gonna shuffle. Uh, okay, here we go. Who are we facing? Crocodile guy. He's got a chest. So if and when we beat him, we get to uh, pick an item. Three. We do three damage to him. We do two more. That's five. Ten. Let's stop there. So we take one point of damage. We collect that boss. And we get an item. Scroll of Purge Life. Instantly capture a monster's soul when used. Ignores monster traits. That is super powerful. Okay. I'm going to turn these like this too. Who are we fighting? Wow. Um, I think I'm going to save this for somebody who has a trait. I think that's my plan. So, yeah. We'll take a six on those daggers. Nine, let's do that. We'll take, uh, we'll take him, we'll take two points of damage, and we get another item. This deck feels so low already. <laughs> we get another item. What's the item? Big turkey dinner. Shuffle discard pile. Take three cards, place them at the bottom of your draw pile. We're going to do that right away. So we shuffle, shuffle the discard pile, and... Uh, take three cards, one, two, three, and place them at the bottom of this pile, and then we'll use that. Okay, next boss. Crocodile with a chest. Two damage, another two, that's four. Uh, so let's take a six on the dagger. So we take one point of damage, and we get another item. And we get the crocodile. This is this is about as best as I've ever done. Smoke bomb. These are great items this time too. Okay. All right. There's not a lot of cards left. Six, seven cards. We need three bosses. Eight. Um. I think we're just gonna fight them. Two. Seven. Let's take that. Take one point of damage. I collect him. One, two, three. It's only five bosses so far. I felt like we were doing so well. <laughs> uh, okay, who do we get? Eleven. I think we got to use the scroll and just take him right away. Or should we use the smoke bomb? No. Let's use the scroll. We take that guy. We get an item. That leaves us only with two cards. Plus three damage to a single weapon. Uh, what can we do? Place all cards in the current encounter into the draw deck and shuffle. That um, nine. Well, I know, I know this isn't. We aren't gonna win <laughs> against this guy because we can't pot this is this whetstone will give us plus three damage but we would need to actually pull a six and i don't think there's any weapons in here that do six damage so let's use the smoke bomb place all cards in the current encounter into the draw deck shuffle we'll draw this guy seven okay if this weapon is a four we win and it's not <laughs> we do six points of damage. We don't take him, and we take a, we uh, we die. So that's it. So Ivy remains cursed. Oh, this game is tough. All right. Well, with that done, <laughs> let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh, that's cool. What do we have here? 
Upon reaching the summit of the floating island, a tranquil oasis greets you, offering a refreshing drink of water. As you quench your thirst, a group of hummingbirds emerges from the trees, displaying aggressive behavior <laughs> as they warn you about the perils that lurk in this place. First, it's ferocious snails, and now we've got aggressive hummingbirds. All right, optionally offer a gift. Um, that's step one. Step two, attempt to reason with them. I don't see any hidden icons here, so let's see what we've got. A lot. I'm going to leave it up here. Let's see. Be cautious, stranger. This sanctuary, sanctuary is sacred to our kind, and outsiders are not welcome. You must leave this place at once, for danger awaits those who linger here, warns the lead hummingbird with an assertive chirp. I don't, I don't think I'm doing a very uh, chirpy voice here. Um, the others behind the leader are readying their weapons. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's carrying a spear <laughs> in his little feet. Oh, my gosh. This game. Okay. One optional. Offer a gift. <laughs> Costs three amber. Let's do it. What does it do? Um, this option is only available if you have it. <laughs> three amber uh remove three amber from your inventory you present a small token of goodwill to the hummingbirds and pull out three shiny amber as a gesture of friendship gain a plus three bonus to attempt to reason with them number two below okay so we're gonna spend three amber so we need all the help we can get with this curse there's seven down to seven amber and I have a trick. I'm going to use these to try to help remember that I have a plus three bonus. <laughs> okay. In fact, yeah, no, I'm going to put them right there. So I, uh, it's, I'm still going to forget. Number, uh, step two, attempt to reason with them. Roll D20 plus charisma reminder persuasive. One. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Uh, none, I don't think, I think that's an automatic fail. What would it be if, let's see, charisma, one plus one charisma plus three is four. We're not persuasive. Yeah, it, even if, okay, anyway. <laughs> if the result is eight or less. The hummingbird's hostility grows as they misinterpret your words. You speak in riddles and deceit. Leave now or face our wrath, they command, making it clear that any further attempt to communicate may result in violence. You can attempt to stand your ground and confront them. Uh, D20 plus strength remainder intimidating. Absolutely. Ivy is intimidating. So here we go. 11 plus 3 is 14. Plus intimidating is uh, 16. Plus, is it strength? Or strength is 2. That's 18. Boom. The result is 14 or more. Your show of strength commands respect among them, while also warning that you are not an easy creature to defeat. <laughs> Especially by hummingbird. Uh, they let you pass with a warning. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I think that's it. Yep, that's it for them. <laughs> okay, all right, well, there. that, my friends, is May 13th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.